Hello once again, this is Penny and today I am with a very special friend of mine who I met many times during our Train the Trainer in the U.S. Uh, we were both assisting in Jack's Train the Trainer program, Miss Julie Doss. And Julie, Hi. can you introduce yourself and where are you from? Hi, Penny. Um, yes, I am Julie Doss. I am a life coach, spiritual coach. I am also a fiction author. My first novel comes out in October. And I am currently residing in Henderson, Nevada, just outside of Las Vegas. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. So what is it like there now in, in Nevada where you stay? Are you in quarantine, lockdown, whatever terminology you have for it? Right. Yeah, we, are, we have been asked to stay at home. Uh, unless we are an essential service. Mm -hmm. um, and matter of fact, I just listened to our governor a few minutes ago and he has called in the National Guard, mm -hmm. knowing that uh, our peak number of cases in, for COVID will peak around April 20th. So he's mm -hmm. in, he, yeah, it's coming. And he's, he's asked us all to stay home. So if you are not a grocery store worker, if mm -hmm. you are not a health professional, police officer, fireman, auto, uh, some of the, the major, what they call essential services, mm -hmm. then um, you are asked to stay home. For me, it's fine because I work from home anyway. So it's... <laughs> You know, all of my clients are on Zoom, so it's it's easy. So yeah, yeah. So you're yeah. you're 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 still able to do your business, your your work, even when I you're am. currently yeah. at home. Yeah, I am, and and you know, Las Vegas area is known for the hospitality industry. Yes. So that has that's been squashed. Um, thousands upon thousands have been furloughed or uh, laid off. Mm -hmm. And so I'm getting a lot of business from friends mm -hmm. of, of clients, right, that are beside themselves, you know, and so it's a matter of being able to upright them, uh, deal with some of the early the, the business stuff is like, okay, we need to bring in money for you. So you need to file unemployment and that's going to take you several days because my understanding is that so many people across the nation are, are filing for unemployment and it's just crashing the system. Mm -hmm. So, um, it, it's, it's getting, getting some practical, practical advice for them. And then, beginning to deal with all the emotions mm -hmm. around around this yeah pandemic so a, a lot of people since you mentioned las vegas known for the mm -hmm. casinos and a lot of the big hotels there so you have clients who have been laid off how how, yes. how, how how's the conversation with them they're scared they are fearful about being able to uh, pay their mortgages and um, putting food on the table. They're afraid uh, that, you know, this is April 1st and so many people are now unemployed and they're, they haven't been able to pay their mortgage um, or pay their rent, mm -hmm. their utilities. But thankfully, and this is the one thing I keep coming back to them, is get out in front of it, have the conversation with the um, management company of the apartment that you're living in, mm -hmm. talk to your mortgage lender, uh, talk to you know your cable, your Visa, your MasterCard, talk to all of the, of your creditors and and see what you can can come up with and what's wonderful at least in in 
the state of Nevada is that there is a moratorium, uh, no late fees on any overdue bills. Mm -hmm. uh, and the governor has insisted that, that uh, uh, creditors begin to work with these individuals. So yeah, it's, it's but they're scared. And so yeah. it's literally walking them back from the ceiling. Mm -hmm. Right. I mean, we know the, the acronym for fear, which is yeah. fantasize of insecuring real, but sometimes it's not a fantasy. Right. Yeah. It, it, and, and, and so you have to walk, I have to walk a really fine line around that, but, but also get them to begin to talk about what are the fears, you know, identify what's happening so that they can see if they're going off the deep end, right? Mm -hmm. And we can begin to strategize ways for them to um, even find work. You know, if you were a, if you were a, uh, in a um, working with, within the, the casino, our grocery stores are hiring. Oh yeah. Exactly. Right? So it's a matter of, is that something you want to do? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Even temporarily. So. Yeah. I, I was talking to someone about that one, and I'd like your, your opinion on that. Uh, he, the term that was used was bridging the gap. Bridging the gap between unemployment and finding a job, a job in the future. Right. And you mentioned that the supermarkets are hiring. Is it, is it a good thing? Is it good to to change careers, change quote unquote, at this time of the of the crisis? You know, I think each individual has to make that determination. Um, some, several of my clients are <laughs> choosing to get you know, they'll use unemployment benefits mm -hmm. that will get them from month to month, right? Um, so some, but some have overextended themselves and they, they absolutely need to bring in money and they need to bring it in right away. So it's, it, one of the things that I've, I've asked all of them to do is begin to look at this as an opportunity even though it doesn't feel like it right now, mm -hmm. right? Um, because a few of my clients that I'm working with have been so unhappy in their positions. Mm -hmm. And so they get an opportunity to think about who do they want to be? Mm -hmm. Who do they want to show up as in this world at, at the end of all of this, you know? Um, what are the what are the actions that they can take right now to prepare for that future right? mm -hmm. um, but also recognize that they're grieving right they're, they're, they're grieving the old normal and it's perfectly okay to grieve that that old that old life we just can't get stuck there right? we just we, we 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 cannot get stuck in and that's 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 the big piece that's the big piece for them yeah I, the i like the i like the word opportunity that you mentioned so how can we realistically realistically people mm -hmm. being laid out laid off from their work um with you are lucky you have unemployment benefits none over here people are starving and yeah and, if they don't die of COVID, they die of hunger. That's what people are saying over here. Uh, how, how can this be an opportunity? It can be an opportunity if you are willing to let go of what normal used to like for you, used to look like for you, mm -hmm. right? If, you, if we're so busy holding on to what was, we mm -hmm. don't have an opportunity to see what's in front of us right now. Right. I often, I oftentimes tell people the past is just that it's the past. It, it physically doesn't exist anymore. Mm -hmm. 
The only way it exists is in our head, right? So, and then, then, then of course, there's a future that we can look toward, mm-hmm. but it doesn't exist yet. We have to live right now. And it's in this presentness of the here now moment that everything that we have is available to us. Mm-hmm. It's where our creativity was where we can problem solve. Um, but we have to remain grounded right here and now, right? If, we, if we're too busy blaming and complaining or living in, in far too much fear, we don't have the, 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 the necessary available energy to solve, problem solve right away. But if you can give yourself the breath of just being present and holding that, the issue before you, how do I solve this issue? And I'm really good about asking questions out loud. I think the universe answers them a lot faster when I, when I can voice them out loud. Mm-hmm. And it's like, oh, hey, you know, and it may, and it may seem outrageous to someone else, mm-hmm. you know, but, um, it may not be for you. And, and asking is big is a big thing. Ask, ask, ask. Get out there and ask. Mm-hmm. Ask for, you know, tell people, hey, I've been laid off. Um, I need work, you know. Um, as I said, my friend is uh, making masks and, yes. and she's giving them away for free. Mm-hmm. I know other people that are, are actually beginning to make these masks charge for them mm-hmm. you know a little bit of yeah there's any the, the opportunities are there okay yeah. the opportunities are here be here what i heard from you is be here now be here, be here right now be right here now. right now and the other thing i i would i that in order to be creative in order to be here right now you also need to give yourself permission to feel your feelings, right? And to name them. Because if you don't name your feeling, if you don't name that I'm frustrated, I'm angry, I'm grieving, I'm whatever it is, you cannot move through it. And what we want is for you to move through the feeling. Because if you can move through it, then, then, you create enough energy, positive energy, to solve your problems. But if you get stuck in anger, if you get stuck in grief, if you get stuck in um, frustration, mm-hmm. that's an energy that will just allow you to get more angry and frustrated and depressed. You know, I, I, I had a situation this morning at 3 a.m. I woke up mm-hmm. and as I was lying there, I thought to myself, what's going on? And I could feel terror in my body. Mm-hmm. I was terrified. Why am I terrified? I should be terrified. But instead of allowing myself to push it away, I got up out of bed and I started to do a walking meditation and walk through my dining room and into my living room and through the kitchen. And I started to talk out loud. I'm terrified. Why, Julie, are you terrified? Mm. And, and, and if, you, if you get quiet enough, you'll hear your answer. My answer was, I had to go out today. I had to go, I, I, we have an opportunity if we have to go grocery shopping or whatever, yeah. we can do that. It terrified me to be out there again. Um, to, and I was shopping for my mother. Mm-hmm. So it was like, oh. Is this, is, is, is this the day, right? And once I was able to name that I was terrified, it was like, oh, okay. And then I could talk to myself about that. And I moved through it mm-hmm. and ended up on the other side of gratitude, right? I was able to talk about, oh my goodness, but yet it's now 3, 30, 4 o'clock in the morning and I'm alive and I'm safe and mm-hmm. I... 
there is some food in the in in my pantry and the people that i know uh, my mother is alive my brother is alive his wife you know I, yeah I more, and more ways of, of of living in gratitude instead of terror i love that i love that julie that gave me a tip i love it i love it because may uh just sharing with you that happened to me about Two days ago, I woke up at 2.30, my heart was beating so fast, and I was saying, what's happening to me? What's happening to me? And I didn't know what to do. Right. Now yeah. you gave me a technique that I could use. The people could yeah. use. It's, you know, it's just name the feeling, right? Just name it. Um, it's okay to feel your feelings. You should feel your feelings. We just don't want to get stuck, right? Uh, and, and, and if you find that you can get yourself off of the, the ceiling, reach out to other people, right? Yeah. We're yeah. all, we're all going through this. This isn't something that's just happening to you and to me. This is happening globally and people are sheltering in place either alone or with families. We're not alone. None yep. of us. We are one big family that are working through this crisis together, and we have to remember that. Keep that at the forefront of our of our yes. hearts, right? And, and and which is really scary. Scary in a way that it's all happening to us all, all at the same time. Yeah, never happened before. No. So we're living in, in fear, but as you said, we, should, we, we need to li live in gratitude as well. We're talking yeah. today. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And, right. and remember, I mentioned to you that we've been together a couple of times and we never really talked. No. There was no, no time. We're so busy crossing, right? <laughs> it was like, hey, Penny, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. don't. And yeah, I would like to volunteer. Okay, and then we are, and now this is uh, the first opportunity. This is the opportunity that we have to reach out and and talk to each other. Yeah, and this is new for you, right? Oh I yeah, mean, you're having these conversations with friends. Would you have thought about that no. before this pandemic? No. 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 I'll be too. A uh, little penny be out there on the side, you know me, and I'll Julie. know. Hmm? Ask, 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 ask Julie. Yes, yeah, you know, and 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 I was thrilled to do it, but at the same time, I remember thinking, Oh, Penny, I don't know, Penny, I'm so <laughs> shy, Penny. <laughs> not you, not you. Oh, yeah, <laughs> really. Yeah, yes, my publisher will tell you that it's it, it's. It is, they, it's like pulling teeth to get me to do, you no. know, out, out, outside things. <laughs> oh, you're, you're so great, Judy. I love working with you. Yeah, I love working with you as well. I really so, do. Yeah, I, I just, next year, next year. We'll next see year. each other next yeah. year. So yeah. uh, I, I learned a lot from you. Be present the moment be present mm -hmm. right now right. view right. this as an opportunity um set an uh, yeah set an intention uh the accept the feeling uh recognize the feeling yeah. and don't get stuck with that feeling i don't feel overwhelmed right. i've been doing things that i never did before like you know in manila we have household help but my household help left because her father was sick before the lockdown and so she couldn't come back. So household chores that I've never done before that I need to do now because no one will do it. I'm learning new domesticated skills, uh, which is not that bad. Right? And not yeah. that bad. Yeah. Well, all of us are learning something new and use yeah. this as an opportunity. Exactly. I had to learn how to cut my own hair. 
I did. You know, I was like, oh no, I cannot get locked down. And when we come out of this, have have an afro out to here. Oh no, that, that is not going to happen. Um, so you know, I ran to the nearest department store and happened to see a young man. And I was like, you have hair just like I do. What do I need? <laughs> you know? And so he walked me through the, the clippers that I needed to purchase and, and says, go on to YouTube. There's several videos and uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, so wow. I'm, you know, I'm sitting up there. <laughs> so, so cute. <laughs> You know, I was talking to someone as well, one from, from TTT also, and he said, I had to shave. <laughs> I had to shave because I was going to talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> really funny. Again, it's a conversation. Somebody was saying, let's have coffee together. Yeah, let's have a chat over coffee. You know, it's, it's, it's wonderful. We don't have to do, we don't have to do our um, shut-in alone that we can we can actually um move in community as opposed to separation yeah. you know so why not i i spent a, i spent time with a, a dear colleague and friend on friday mm -hmm. uh, she decided last week that she wanted to have a zoom party right uh a cocktail hour and so I forgot what time it was. It was seven, eight, it was Greenwich time. And it was only 12.30 my time. And so she's drinking <laughs> champagne and she was on the phone. She was on Zoom with, uh, was her, myself, uh, a friend of hers in Nigeria, someone uh, from Florida. We had someone from Canada uh, and I think maybe California. But yeah, we just, don't do this alone. Yeah. We don't have to, you know, reach out in community. Even though there is physical distance, does not mean that we still cannot create community. Yeah. It just looks different. Yeah. Right? It's, it's just the new normal. It's the new normal. Yeah. So it, we don't have to, it's, it's physical distancing, but not as mentioned my friend, socially distancing. Social yeah. distancing is yes, but socially I, I, distancing. Yeah, I, I, I prefer to say it's physical distancing because we are social animals, right? And we need to continue our socializing just apart. Yes. We're going to physically do it differently. I mean, I, I love the fact that here in the United States, um, there are actors and actresses and, and singers and all kinds of people from entertainment, and we see them in their homes now. Because mm -hmm. right? uh, uh, talk about quiz essential people that are social, right? Uh, and and they're used to having lots of people around them and, and doing all these wonderful things and idea that they're in their home and they're creating space for us to enter in and be social with them yeah and um, see them as they are as see them as they are it's it it is the single best thing that i have seen within the united states um that I didn't feel so alone because as I said, I live by myself and it's, I can isolate really, really well, um, which can be a detriment. So to be able to turn on my, my television and to see someone that uh, recognize a face, I'm like, oh, is that your house? What does that look like on the inside? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> a little nosy. <laughs> And turn, turn the camera a little to the left. I want to see what, see what that is. <laughs> and you see them without makeup, right? Sometimes. Right. Oh, yes. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The natural self. You get to see the natural self. And you're like, oh, so that's what you really look like. Okay. <laughs> Good to know. I don't feel so bad. 
I love it. I love it. I really love talking to you. Oh, I love talking to you. You're such a you. funny I person. I, you know, my, I, I send jokes. I find them on Facebook. And I send jokes to my mother and my brother, uh, my aunts. Uh, I have a couple of women that I meet with on Fridays. And I send them jokes just to just to laugh, you know, I just, if I find, if I end up laughing out loud, then I have to see a joke. Yeah. We need that. We need that laughter, especially this time. Especially we really do. Yeah. 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 Okay, Julie, do you have any other advice that you can give to people what they can do during this lockdown, uh, during this period? You know, practical things. Um, be creative. Mm -hmm. Right. If, if you don't have to be a Picasso mm -hmm. to paint or to draw, um, if you've always wanted to write a book, why not now? Right. Um, declutter your your space. I have decluttered my walk-in closet. Um, I happened to go underneath my sofa, however, and I noticed that there were some popcorn kernels that I needed to handle. So, <laughs> you know, I, I can do some deep cleaning. I think we can all do some deep cleaning around our house. Um, if you can help someone in need, help someone in need, right? Um, read, read, read a good book. It doesn't just have to be nonfiction work. It could be works of fiction. It can be poetry. But above anything else, see the good. See the good in all of this. I was standing at seven o'clock in the morning in front of a grocery store a couple of days ago. And we have the physical distancing, right? Six feet. Mm -hmm. And it was senior time. Mm -hmm. And there I was with all the other seniors. And, we're, and there's about 20 of us. And I began to bemoan in my head, isn't this horrible? I've never had to wait to get into a grocery store. And here we all are, and we're looking at each other as though we're suspect. Yeah. You know, are you the person that is going to infect me? And tears came to my eyes. And I caught myself and I said, wait a minute. No, that's not true. That's not true. What is true is that we are physically distant. Yes, we're doing it for ourselves, but in doing it for ourselves, we're doing it for each other. Mm -hmm. Right? And as they started to let us in, we started to have conversations, you know, hey, how are you? Great. How are you doing? Are you, are you doing it? You know, we were starting to, to kind of check in mm -hmm. toward each other. And so seeing the good is absolutely paramount every day we can find good if we search i like it i love that that will be the highlight of this conversation see the good in all of this see the good because there is good in it yeah and one thing good is talking to you it's wonderful talking to you yeah. okay julie thank you so much i know it's about dinner time maybe you haven't had dinner yet and oh, uh, I yeah, I, yeah. My, my last meal is about three o'clock in the afternoon wow wow yeah. okay okay Otherwise, I I I'm, I'm weird that way <laughs> i have no, to go to sleep on an empty stomach okay so thank you very much for accommodating me today and uh it's always I always love being with you and talking to you. This is the first time we've talked this long. Do this more often. Yes. Right? yes. Okay. So from Nevada, Julie, once again, and from the Philippines, Penny, thank you so much for spending time with me today. My pleasure. Thank you, Penny. Thank you. Bye. Bye.